Why are all these people lined up? Waiting in the unrelenting heat for up to two hours. A rock star? Maybe the latest version of the iPhone. No, they're here for something quite old. A Nathan's famous hot dog with a side of fries. Crowds lined up for hours one steamy Saturday afternoon when the legendary Coney Island Institution offered its original hot dog for a nickel. The price it was when Nathan Handwerker, a Polish immigrant, started serving 100 years ago this year. Yes, Nathan's is celebrating its 100 year anniversary. Nathan began making and selling his hot dogs at a small stand on the corner of Surf and Stillwell Avenues. He made his own hot dogs using a secret recipe developed by his wife, Ida. Nathan's continues to use that recipe to this day. So what is it that's so special about this dog? No, not that dog. Well, maybe it's the snap you get when you first bite through the casing, followed by the savory explosion of Angus beef and spices. Maybe. For me, the ingredient that makes this hot dog stand out above all others is its history. For a restaurant based on such a simple construct, a sausage on a bun, this eatery has had amazing durability. It has survived the rise and fall and rise again of Coney Island. It has withstood depressions, social upheaval, even hurricanes. Nathan's is a huge chain now with dozens of locations selling millions of hot dogs. And of course, there's the famous hot dog eating contest, which incidentally also started in 1916. That year, the record was 13 hot dogs eaten. But there is still something special about going to the corners of Surf and Stillwell Avenue on a summer day, grabbing a dog and sitting on the boardwalk. Somehow, it makes the dog taste better. And my six-year-old son likes them so much, he thinks the hot dog was invented here. No, Nathan didn't invent the hot dog. He just made it perfect. Happy anniversary, Nathans. And keep them coming.